sun, no shade, don't wave to yesterday, the sunlight hurts my eyes. Put on no shade, don't wave to yesterday, the sunlight hurts What's up YouTube? Now today we've got something a bit different from what we normally do. Now this is pretty old and it's in its original box which is great and as you can see the box is aged I guess you could say. It's, it's battered and it's damaged. But on the top of the box if we just lean it over you can say it's got old writing gun sighting VB 3.9 and then on the outside of the box you can see it's got two clasps one there and then one on the opposite side and it also has a keyhole and a carrying lasp there that would have been put putting a sling around there's one on the opposite side of the box so you could carry carry it around with you now it's quite a large box, it's almost, well it's half a metre long, just over, and now I'm going to show you what's inside. The clasps undo easily, and when you open the box, it's got in very clear letters at the back, VP 3.9 gun sighting, and then inside you can see this rather large object here, as you can see. And then zooming into that section, you can see on the box there it has I end on it, which would be for the the part of the scope that you would look down. And then the middle bit of it, as you can see, it's it's raised and it's got a cap on it. That is for nighttime observation. So you'd put a spotlight down there and you've took the cap off, and then you'd be able to see easier through the scope during the night. And then that is the eyepiece of the end of the scope. So, all in good condition. Well, the box is in really good condition. And you can tell the detail and the importance of this object. Due to the, the fabric that has been put around these clasps here. And also on the top. So this item really people did not really want to damage it and it was looked after carefully as it is one of the most crucial parts in the artillery so it was really looked after and now the bad bits about the box is that it doesn't have a key for the lock so the lock doesn't work but I'm sure if it did have a key it would work fine but it doesn't but other than that it's in sound condition there was a slight bit of damage but it's nearly a hundred years old so you really have to expect that. Now the scope is in really good condition. It's in its original finish, I believe, although some of the paint has been lost off it. And I was thinking of polishing it up to make it shiny as it is made of brass, but I've decided not to because it may be worth more value in its current state. Now I just wanted to show you, if I just zoom in, this part, which has got just turn it round, which has got a little chain on it for keeping the cap so it doesn't get lost. And this easily unscrews and it's shiny inside the cap. So now when you were going to do a night observation in this with this scope, you'd have quite a bit of trouble because the crosshairs at the end of this are black so you wouldn't be able to see them so what was designed was this was put in at the top and a light would have screwed into there quite a bright light and it made the crosshairs in the end of it light up so you could see them easier which made it easier for making well for spotting targets and aiming the weapon but without that you wouldn't be able to do it and it's not it's not really night vision as such it's just an easier way of observing at night so yeah now moving on to the rest of the scope I just zoom out it's in pretty good condition 
Now this is the zoom and it all works fine. It zooms in when you when you twist it like that. It zooms out and you move it like that. And then the end is how you would focus. And then you have the lens which you can see through just I don't know if you can see the crosshairs in there, just about. But it all works pretty fine. And then looking back, see through there. It's very, very heavy. It weighs about 8 kilograms. And it's pretty much solid brass with just a bit, a few bits that unscrew. So now let's go and see if we can test it out. Now you're going to probably be wondering how I have actually got the night vision to work as you just saw the crosshairs light up. Unfortunately the quality of the crosshairs lighting up on the camera wasn't very good due to the fact that it was going through the camera and I haven't actually got a light to fit on it. So and, um, I was actually just using my the light on the back of my phone so basically quite a bright LED and I was just fitting it on there like that so it was just basically slotting on which is difficult to to make the light go directly into the centre but that's how I've done it and it seems to work temporarily whilst I've got my hands on it and it's it's alright for temporary use I'm either going to have to make something to clip onto there so, so we can use the light on it or I'm just going to have to use my phone light because I highly doubt that I can find a light that was original and would have gone on that. But other than that, everything is in original and working condition and quite good. But that's how I lit it up, just in case you're asking. So that was the day and night observation, which that building that you were looking at was about a mile away from here. So we were on full zoom and unfortunately it was just behind the trees so it was a bit awkward to see but and it wasn't very clear on the camera but it's pretty clear when you're looking through it yourself so when I was looking through it, it was fine but it's just going through the camera which was difficult to line up and keep steady due to the weight of holding scope that is and also I just want to point out that this was made by W. Ottaway and Co from London, made in 1916, it is stamped 1916, so it was definitely used during the war. Although I'm not sure what gun it would have been used on, whether it would have been naval or a field gun. It'd be nice if someone could tell me if that was field gun or naval gun, as I'm not sure. And I have done some research on the internet, but found nothing from it. And it seems that these are pretty rare and uncommon, as there are not really many pictures on the internet about this this scope or many other scopes. I've seen a few pictures of World War II ones but not many of World War I and those of World War I that I have seen haven't been anything like this one. But overall this is in pretty good condition. It's all scopes in and it all works fine. So that's probably it for this today's video. Thanks for watching.